Hey guys, Robbie Ray here. We're back. I'm going to try to make this segment um, just a specifications page for those of you who already have experience and don't need step-by-step uh, -step instructions. Um, I do have a video series on this GM 3.6 motor that uh, takes you through step-by-step -step for uh, those of you who might need a little more help. Um, these are the uh, cylinder head torque specs. Uh, the book says, well, it actually doesn't say that you can have the thread, the head bolt threads lightly oiled, but I believe in having them lightly oiled, the threads now. But it says that it wants the heads of the bolts dry. So even though your instinct may say to lube them, it says it leave the head, heads of the bolts dry. So this is the right head. Um, if you notice, they say, uh, well, there's the sequence, uh, 22 foot pounds and then 150 pounds, I'm sorry, 150 degrees, which essentially takes you from 12 o'clock to five o'clock. Okay, so, but what I wanna mention about this problem is, well, I think it's a problem. As I was doing this, you know, and uh, I'm sure some of you guys have been in the same shoes as me, you know, you really, you really have no choice but to trust what the book is telling you. <clears throat> Even though I, in my video segment, I mentioned that I, I did not like the fact that they go from a very slight 22 foot pounds to an instant 150 degrees. Like I even felt that it should be done in uh, stages like a lot of other engines are. So I wound up <clears throat> shooting myself in the foot because I was right because on this left head, I did them all to 22 foot pounds. I did this one to 150 degrees, this one to 150 degrees. And guess what? When I got to this one, it was dead loose. <laughs> so the reason being is, you know, this one and this one crushed the gasket. And then this one was dead loose. So that left me in a real, real fix, you know, because you're not supposed to reuse the bolts. You're not supposed to reuse head gaskets. So I had no choice but to go back to putting this one to 22 foot pounds, <clears throat> then going to 150. And I was really concerned that now, you know, the whole, the whole mess was out of order now, right? So... What I ended up doing is, uh, because I was stuck in that situation, I once I got them all to where I believed they were right, um, mostly what they're looking for here is uh, everything being equal. So I kept messing with my torque wrench, because by the way, for I should mention, for a hundred years, a torque wrench was just fine. <laughs> it's only recently that they have this belief that they have to be turned a certain amount of degrees. So I kept up in the uh, spec on my torque wrench on... The bolts on the other side which which actually went pretty well until i felt like one of the heads was just about to move and it wound up being 60 foot pounds so if that happens if the same thing happens to you i would suggest that 60 foot pounds is probably a pretty good target number so you know i checked all those at 60 and i checked all these at 60 because like i said for 100 years before you know the last 20 years that's been fine <laughs> right so but anyway, so what I would suggest to you is ignore the book. By the way, this comes right out of the Chevy book. And go 22 foot-pounds, 1 through 8. And then go 75 degrees, 1 through 8. And then go another 75 degrees, 1 through 8. So if I had to do this again, that's, that's what I would do. And I set up a little thing here because I have... I, I scoured the internet for many many hours to find any information and i have a pdf file that i'm going to show you here but i don't know if i can uh add a link i'm going to try to but just in case i can't hang on so i'm going to actually go through the pages for you guys that really matter the most and this one here is the cam caps hang on so the torque there you go it's the torque sequence and the the numbers, the 89 inch pounds. Okay, so this one is the right head cam caps. So I'm gonna go through the pages here. Give me a second. Let me clear this one out. This one here is the left head cam caps, the torque sequence and the 89 inch pounds. Then we're gonna go because I already showed you the heads, obviously. So I'm going to try to include 
what I think is the real important stuff on this segment here. So, uh, hang on. 401. Okay. This is the front engine cover uh, sequence, or, you know, the timing cover uh, sequence and 14 foot-pounds. Hopefully you guys can zoom on this if, if you, I mean, zoom in if you need to. Um, hang on. But I'm, I'm going to try to put this on my channel just as torque specs for this engine. So hopefully anybody that looks that up uh, will find it. Um, oh, hang on. I think I can scroll down here. Uh, wait a second. This one is, um, what you're seeing here is, is where they want the sealant placed. And then, uh, just so if you want to know the number, there you go, they tell you the three millimeter bead, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, when I work the dealerships, they call that type uh, FIP, uh, form in place gasket. And it's basically the Permatex Ultra Gray. So when you buy it at your own parts store, that's what you're looking for. Okay, let's go into the water pump. Hopefully this is a uh, condensed version of my whole series for you guys. Four, oh, three. Because when I did the series, I really aimed it towards somebody that might not have a lot of experience. But this is here for you guys that do. All right, there you go, there's your water pump. 89 inch pounds, it looks like. And uh, let's see. I guess it's obvious, right? I think it was only four bullets. You know, they don't seem to give you a torque sequence on that one. Uh, let's see, let's move on to the valve cover left. Valve cover left. Hang on. It's page 408. 408. There you go. There's your left valve cover, torque sequence, and, and number. Uh, looks like 89 inch pounds. Uh, this is your right valve cover. There you go. And then finally, I think the intake manifold. I think that gives you most of the pertinent information that you need. Um, there you go. Intake manifold. I'm going to probably turn off the comments section on this video because, um, you know, uh, there may be tons and tons of people asking me for this link to this uh, PDF or, or even other questions, but it's, it would probably become very daunting. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to um, get my son, who's a little more computer savvy than me, to uh, to be able to uh, provide a link to the zip file. Um, and I will say uh, real quickly, um, you know, I'll show you real quick where we're at with this. I mean, I'm trying to make everybody dizzy. I'll go slow. <laughs> so, you know, here's where we're at. Uh, did all the time and change. Let me zoom back. Hang on. There you go. Did all the time and change and everything um, last night. Uh, these are Chloe's. Uh, it's the complete set. It was a, it was pretty pricey. It was about seven hundred forty bucks because it came with the cam phasers and everything. Um, so uh, the little marks are just telling us that we um, already torqued them. Uh, they tell you what the torque specs are right on the site. I, I think the big ones are forty three foot pounds and. All the small ones are 18 foot pounds, but you can go on just literally punch in Chloe's uh, time and chain kit or something for this motor and it comes up. Although I want to mention one quick thing. Uh, I'm going to do this in my um, bigger video series. Um, the one thing the Chloe site does not say, it comes with these two. Uh, these are the idler gears, uh, S932 and S930. But it doesn't tell you which one's which and they almost look identical but they are not so that's an upside down 30 now but that was the s930 
on that side and that's the S932 on that side. So uh, it, that could easily be confused because they almost look identical, but they're not. Okay, guys, I think that's all you're going to need, unless you want to go through my <laughs> very long series, which you're welcome to uh, utilize that information if you want to. Okay, guys, good luck. Uh, hope you get her back and up and running soon.